Did you clap? I did. And it didn't even show us up. Okay. It's like the loudest noise on there. Oh, yeah. On mine, too. Yeah. It's just this boom spike. Yeah. Right. Hello, and welcome to the Fresh Epics podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Don't don't laugh already. (laughs) I can't Uh, help it, man. I'm your host, David. (laughs) I'm joined... (laughs) <laughs> I am joined by Human, creator of Scandinavia the World, and Andy, creator of So You Are a Cartoonist. Hello. hello. <laughs> you got you got to say more than hello. What, what do you want us to say? Well, Hi. you already introduced us. Yeah. What else do you? What well, the, the, the audience have to get the hang of your voice? Yeah. Hello. Well, Okay, hi, my name is Andrew. I've been introduced before, but here I am. <laughs> <laughs> right. We we have a few questions from the audience. Uh, starting off with uh, Nico Yasu, who asks, uh, who's your favorite character of the other Fresh Epic members? Who wants to go first? Well, both of you. At the same time. Go. At the same... Oh, jeez. Oh, I'll coming. count. One, two, three. The captain. The captain? You're supposed to say it at the same time. Not necessarily I, the same time. How character. was I supposed to know what you were going to say, though? I would have said, like, stupid fox. Yeah, and then we just say it in, you know, at the same time. Okay, okay, I, I guess. You know, one, two, three, <laughs> the captain. Stupid and you just fox. Go stupid fox. <laughs> well, well, that's <laughs> getting edited out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Do you want to start over? <laughs> no, we just say one, two, three, and then the character. Uh, okay. <laughs> one, two, three, the captain. Stupid fox. Oh, Jesus Christ. They well, no, there's, there's lag. There's lag. He said it at the right time. Okay. I'm in. I'm in America. There's like a. There's like a couple <laughs> second delay, because you guys are all in, in like England and stuff. Okay, so, uh, Humon, why is the captain your favorite character? Well, I like him because he's mysterious and silly, and you don't even know if it's a guy or just a weird thing under there. I was just wondering if it was a she. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's a she. Sometimes it's not. And Andy, why is Stupid Fox your favorite character? Because it's cute. <laughs> I don't know what That's to say about science. I, it's just really cute. I, I love Stupid Fox. It's just so, so just really adorable. And there's something, there's kind of like innocence about it that's just really charming. That's the best reason for anything. Cuteness. Yeah. I hope I'm getting these names right. Nico Yasu. Ooh. Yas, Yasu? I'm sure it's fine. I'll, I'll be like uh, off of other YouTube videos where the guy can't uh, pronounce anybody's name, but it, it's okay. a running joke that you know he he tries hard to understand people's names, and he never gets them right. Who's this YouTube person you're talking about? Uh, Maximus Black. I don't know who that is. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. The next question question is from Okay. She lost lover. She That's a nice lo- name. Yeah. You see, she lost. Uh, like she and she asks, how do you guys do character creation? So, like, how do you come up with your characters? I don't. They just <laughs> happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's it's kind of a weird thing. Sometimes they just kind of dictate to themselves who they are. You know, I might come up with an idea for a, a design, but once I start writing them in the story, they kind of kind of pick their own path and determine yeah. who they are. Exactly. It's really kind of a strange... I don't know how to describe that. Well, I suppose you you go with the flow. Yes. You don't, like, sit down beforehand and plan out all of their nuances in advance. No, actually, that's what I do, but it never turns out that way. (laughs) I always plan it in advance. (laughs) I, I know some people who, like, go to extremes in coming up with characters that are, they, like, They'd come up with their backstory and their history and like their whole life story, and they they have all these like specifics about how tall they are, what color their eyes are, and all those things. And I I don't do any of that at all. <laughs> I I just kind of start writing and with the characters, and you know through their actions, that kind of helps dictate to me what their story is. Yeah. And if exactly. I'm curious, I'll look more into it. But yeah. Well, when you start getting to know the character's personality, you also sort of just, you just know what the story is, the backstory and all that, how mm-hmm. they became like that. It just somehow com- comes out on its own. Mm-hmm. But would you say that was from your experience of creating backstories or 
how it actually is. Well, that's my own experience. I don't know how other people do it. Okay, the next question is from Ak Rion, who asks, what is your favourite brand of toothpaste? Oh, God. <laughs> the ones that doesn't have too strong of a taste and have sparkles in them? Sparkles? <laughs> no, not, <laughs> not <laughs> glitter, not sparkles, glitter. Glitter. <laughs> glitter toothpaste. What toothpaste is that? <laughs> I have no idea. I just buy it and use it. You mean like the Winter I Fresh? No, I don't think it's that one. I, I actually never really read the name on the box. <laughs> it's not a Dan yeah. Danish brand. You don't even it? know what toothpaste I it is. I don't know. <laughs> Rather than the flug and toothpaste. I'm going to go with Colgate. No, I, I just use Tanpasta. Tanpasta. That's Tan just pasta? the Danish word for toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like generic toothpaste? What? Generic Danish toothpaste? I don't know. It's, it's just because I, I don't use a specific brand. It's just they tend to look the same when I open the, the box. But it's not the same brand every time. It's just what's cheapest. It's not the same brand every time? <laughs> You just grab some toothpaste off the shelf, and then you open it up, and it's like, oh, it's this time today it's Colgate. Tomorrow <laughs> it's uh, something else. Yes, exactly. Well, when we went to France, I used, I think, three different kind of toothpaste. McLean's. Yeah, because I, I, I used Sorry, my what? own, and when, when I ran out of that, I used the David's, and when it turned out I couldn't, my mouth just fell apart. When I used it, I used uh, Vitalis. Did, did you say McLean's? McLean's. McLean's. What's, What's that? A, that? That's an English brand. Okay. That sounds English. Sounds like Mr. Clean. That guy <laughs> involved. The next There's question. A lot of references I'm not going to get, I'm sure. Are you talking over me? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. The next question is from Some Dreaming State, who asks, out of all the countries you've visited, which has been your favorite and the one that has felt most welcome? Well, that's not necessarily the same thing, is it? Well, let's start off with, uh, which is your favourite? Scotland. <laughs> Have you been to other countries? That's Beside the, England? <laughs> aside from England and Scotland. <laughs> that's all <laughs> I've ever... I mean, you, do count, you count Canada, right? Yeah, that counts. Yeah, okay, I've been to Canada too. Yeah, okay. But, but Scotland, so far. Why? I, I don't know. Well, cause, just, because I of the castles. Really like... Well, not just the castles. I mean, just it's just really, uh, it was just very fresh air. The, the land was just so gorgeous, and it was just very relaxing and kind of laid back. I didn't, I didn't feel quite as rushed uh, when I was in Scotland yeah. as when I was in London. When I was in London, I kind of felt like we were going really, really fast. We had so much we had to get cover and get done. Yeah, haven't been to Scotland, but I would like to go someday. Oh, why don't you tell me? What? Yeah, you well, we could have driven up there. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that far. Well, I'll be back someday. We can do it next time. <laughs> yes. You gotta go on one of those highland trips. We could climb a mountain. Yes. In a bus. <laughs> I'll climb a mountain. You you yeah. can sit in the pub and drink. Me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I'll I'll be standing at the bottom going, David, I can't get up. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, come on! <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, my uh, my favorite country so far has been England, but the one I felt most welcome in was Norway. So that's a very, very close second. Is Norway the one where the fire alarm went off? Yeah. The night before <laughs> the convention. Exactly, in the middle of the night. I think it was was it twelve, one. Wait, and you feel, and you feel more welcome there? Yeah, because they were now nice about it. They came in, uh, out and said, oh, sorry, we're, we're really sorry about this. It's okay. And just people in general, they just they just seemed nice in Norway. And I was even in the bad part of Norway. Yeah, the bad part of Norway, eh? Yeah, they call it that. It's just um, Oslo. They call it the bad part of Norway. Isn't that the Wrong capital side city? of the track? Yes, it is. <laughs> the bad part. The whole of the capital. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because the rest of Norway is like, you know... They like to this idea of the nice nature and all that, and Oslo doesn't really have that, so they consider it the bad, evil part with all the druggies. What do, what do they have there, then? In Oslo? Yeah. 
They, well, I don't know, nothing. <laughs> Buildings. <laughs> See, I'm, yeah, I'm exactly. The, the problem is with Oslo that it isn't a very, it's not a very pretty city. I mean, people are nice, but it, it doesn't look that nice. Because <laughs> it's it's fairly new city. I think it was fairly new. It actually looked very nice. No, when I, when I say fairly new, I just mean like it isn't an old. An, it's it's just it it took a long time for Norway to get rich and wealthy and all that from oil, because of well yeah Denmark and Sweden w- weren't that nice to them for a long time. They just stole their money and abused well, I'm, them. I'm completely <laughs> ignorant of all these like the like the politics of all those countries over there. What? Cause I'm from America and we don't know anything about the <laughs> no. rest of the world. No, it's just history. We we're good <laughs> friends now, but we we weren't nice to them in the past. We don't exactly learn history of like Norway and Sweden, <laughs> no. and Finland, or anything in America. I wouldn't and expect we, we that. <laughs> we don't learn that much about the American history either over here. It's mainly just people went over there, they killed some Indians, and now there's <laughs> bad people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now it's bad people? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's about it. No, it's more <laughs> complicated than that, but that's pretty much what I remember from my school time. <laughs> I'd like to read a history book from over there, <laughs> yeah. just to just to see how they describe like America becoming what it is. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. land of bad people. Yeah. The <laughs> land of bad people. <laughs> history book for schools. <laughs> <laughs> end of bad people. American <laughs> history. <laughs> I want to read that book. <laughs> oh, that sounds like the ver- worst propaganda ever. <laughs> Right. The next question is from okay. Anzuai. What did you want to be when you grew up? When you were kids? Was it something arty? Or did you just discover your love for art later? You go first, Andy. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I had a lot of varying ideas of what I wanted to be when I grew up. Um, of course, it always changes as you're growing up. Mm. Depending on like the week, you know. I had, it was always like, I want to be an animator this week. And then the next week I'd fall out of that. I'm like, I want to be a comic artist. Or I want to be a filmmaker. Or I want to be a special effects artist. And, you know, I would just, like, keep going across all these various things. But I always wanted to do something in an art-related field. I did. You know, I, went to, I went to school for, co- you know, for, uh, for com- uh, animation. And I start, ended up doing comic art. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... As a, when I was a kid, I just knew I didn't want to make a living from drawing. Oh dear! So this is very ironic. <laughs> it, wait, you didn't how want to? things ended up? No, because I didn't want my hobby to become my job. I wanted to hmm. drawing to be something I enjoyed in my my free time. I have to admit that is one of the hardest kind of things to get over. Is you know you draw in your free time, you're like, oh, I like to draw, and then. You turn into a job. It's like, oh, I like to draw. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I gotta do it now because it's a job. But it's it's still a fun job, though, right? I mean, don't you don't, you like drawing, right? Yeah, true. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Worst <laughs> podcast ever. I, I can't mute. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's okay, Dave. It's okay. <laughs> Every single night. <laughs> he turned his phone off. <laughs> There we go, professional. Answering the phone mid podcast. Exactly. That's okay. Continue. Oh, well, we have to, we have to continue? Uh, <laughs> <what's the question? laughs> Let's pick up where I, we left off. Where, what, were, what were we talking about? Uh, what we wanted to be when we were kids. And what did you want to be? I, I don't know. I, I just know, knew I didn't want to draw. Do you want to be like a firefighter or something? <laughs> no. No, um, that's not. No, I, I I really didn't know what I wanted to be. I tried pretty much everything, and none of it just seemed to fit. And I ended up with drawing. No, you you haven't tried everything. Have you been a pool bearer? Uh, no. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's great fun, carrying oh, people what? to their final resting place. Carrying oh. dead people. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. That's what you um. Yep. But why don't you answer that? Why don't you tell us what what, what did yeah. you want? What to be? did you want to be, David? You're not answering what, these I questions. To be a, We're answering a these space questions. pilot. What? what? <laughs> space pilot. I would sit in space and pilot it around the galaxy. 
because space has to be moved around somehow by someone, and it might as well be me. You make the worst jokes, and I hate you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, wait, that was a joke? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not familiar with that dry British wit. <laughs> I'm like I'm trying to work out the logistics. Like a space pilot, what the? Hell? There's nothing in space. Space is empty. Why would you need to move it around? There's nothing there. Okay, can we move on to the next question? Just giggle, giggle more. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun podcast. I'm getting a headache. Right, you're getting a he- wait. You're getting a headache no. from laughing. Take some ibuprofen. Alright, right. the next question is from uh-huh. Chaos Modifier. If you play <coughs> video... You just coughed over me. Yeah, but it's not being recorded by you. Well, It could just be cut out. Well, I, I, you made me stop anyway. Okay. God, I'm going to have a lot Do of work again, on this then. one. <laughs> the next question is from Chaos Modifier. If you play video games, what is your favorite game? I don't. You do, you, you've you been playing it for the last few days. Games? Yeah, okay, but I can't say the name of that game. Tiaria. Sea area, yeah. Sea area, but that, that I've only been playing that for like three days. Wait, is that like that two D Minecraft one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well my answer is Minecraft. <laughs> so I, I play three D Minecraft, and you play two D Minecraft, huh? Yeah. But ours, ours is different. Ours has more bosses. Oh, yeah. la di da. <laughs> and it, and it's mainly David playing the game and going, "We should do this," and then I just try and do it and die. Well, you, you uh, well, I think you were there when we killed the skeleton. Skeletor. No, I wasn't. You did no. it on your own. Well, the, the big eyeball boss. Uh, yeah, but not the first time. Uh, the, the giant worm? No. No. You yeah, did that on your own me. as well. I do all the work. Exactly. What game is this? <laughs> and then I collect some stars. Yay, stars. <laughs> and get those uh, flashy, glittery weapons that doesn't really do much. <laughs> But they drop more stars. <laughs> so magical. <laughs> okay. Uh, outside of Minecraft, I guess... I don't know. Mario games or something? I don't know. <laughs> no, I, wait, I wait, wait. Of... I, I play Poke Park. Po- Poke Park? Poke Park on the Wii. Oh, for, oh, for the Wii, yeah. With the Pikachu. How is that? Yes, exactly. I absolutely hate the sounds in that game, but it's a children's game, so I can play it. <laughs> you... <laughs> So you can't play games that aren't children for children, or no? I'm I'm really really bad at computer games of any kind. So if it's not children games, I can't play them. How is Poke Park? I've heard mixed reviews. Well, it's easy. <laughs> it's because it's a kids game. <laughs> exactly. So you you play Poke Park, but you don't play Pokemon. No. Well, I I used to play the one where you're actually the Pokemon, but not the real game I, I well wait, wait. when I was a teenager we had the real poke game on the computer the my game brother boy. He the game no 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 yeah the game boy game but on the PC it's because my brother had downloaded it from somewhere no, just, pirated it <laughs> but the, the thing like two days later the people who were like responsible for the internet providers they called us up and went, can you please turn off that game? It is spamming our server and it's about to break down. So please please get rid of that. So we almost made sort of the whole area sort of <laughs> not had, have internet. <laughs> because so you were playing Pokemon. Yeah, because I was playing that game that was sort of spamming the server. So I never played it again after <laughs> that. I don't think I've ever had anything like that happen to me before. <laughs> Well, that's ne- what you I've get for somebody... sort of pirating games like that. And don't do it, kids. This this is being recorded, you know. You pirating games. Yeah, but I'm telling people I what happened. I buy everything perfectly legally over Steam. No, I'm, I'm explaining that that's the kind of stuff that happens Pokemon if you pirate Steam. games. So never do that, kids. Never. <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> Stay in school. Don't emulate don't games. Don't pirate games, because then the service providers will call you up and tell you... <laughs> Please stop. You might make our servers crash. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deadly world out there. <laughs> okay, I think we answered that one all right. <laughs> the final question is from King Jackalope. Final? Ready? We're at the final question? Yes, the final question. Here it comes. Stories from the comic... No, I've said it wrong. 
Story. <laughs> <Great> <laughs> Stories from the con you all attended would be fun. It's not even a question. It's more of a statement. It's not. <laughs> Stories. <laughs> yes. It Stories would. from the con. It would be fun. Next question. I think my favourite one is Vitaly and his shark. <laughs> See, yeah, but that, see that. unfortunately, that's not from that con. Well, it's ah. from a con. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Vitaly uh, purchased an inflatable helium shark. That uh, you can, you could uh, remote control. Yeah, to like fly a, around. Yeah, fly around like a, like an airplane, but it was a helium balloon. Yeah. And uh, he filled it up, and we said, "Whoa, that, that's about full." He filled it up some more, and we were like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, you're overfilling." He filled it up even more. The seams are splitting, Vitaly. Whoa! And then he let go, and it went up to the ceiling. Uh, maybe and was never seen again. Well, yeah, probably was seen all day, all convention. We looked up, and he, the poor shark was stuck up there for the whole Could convention. he control the radio days. control? But, no, the best best part of it was when he let it go, and he just looked at it sort of slowly floating towards the ceiling, just going, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> just so in that Vitali way. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. And then, at the end of the convention, he tried to get it down by filling up uh, regular balloons <laughs> with helium and attaching yep. them all to a piece of string. And he got maybe halfway to the roof with all these bits of string and balloons, and then he just ran out. Yeah, yeah. and they started popping and falling down, and yeah, he it was very pretty. sad. Yeah. <laughs> Which convention was this at? Pardon? It was the the one before the one you at- attended. So the one in October. Yes. Okay. Twenty eleven October, MCM yeah. London. There's only two, right? Two a year. Yeah. To a year. Yeah. Yes. Because it was one I had been to at, at that po- The one you attended, that was my second London convention. Wow. I, d- I don't have any stories, really. Because I don't really ever do anything at conventions. <laughs> I, well, I tend to just... I sit at a table what and a, I... What about your delicious cake? My that delicious cake? That was way, cake? way more delicious than my cake. You mean the, the ceramic cake? The, it looked delicious. <laughs> Way more delicious than mine. <laughs> we I got it from the that. same person, and they just yeah, liked you more and gave you a nicer cake. <laughs> oh, so- I'm sorry. I didn't realize that, that that rankled in your mind so much. Yeah, I, I lie awake at night thinking about that. Just about imagining cake. your cake next to mine and just feeling bad and angry. Okay. Yeah, okay, I guess you guys just told the story for me. I guess uh, somebody gave me a little tiny ceramic cake of maybe about an inch big. This is a pretty, it was pretty small. It looked really nice. But uh, I, I guess it looked better than yours. I'm sorry. <laughs> but but now, where where is it now? Uh, it's sitting on my desk. Oh, okay. I ate mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's somewhere. I, I have a little table with stuff people give me, and it's on there. In front of a little statue I got f- that the d- of my two agents, so they're eating cake forever. <laughs> uh, I have I have a uh, IKEA, I have a big giant IKEA table where my computer sits, and it's got these big shelves everywhere, and I, I line them with just all kinds of like toys and uh, action figures and figurines and models, and so it's it's sitting up there somewhere between Mario, Lupin. One of the castles from Scotland, uh, Sherlock Holmes, and uh, My Little Pony. <laughs> so it's it's somewhere up there. I can't see right now, but I know it's there. As a manager of lots of artists, the story I always find funny is, Andy, you're one where seven people behind one table. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's he a six-foot table. I don't oh. even know the story, just the way Andy responds to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's your regular uh, okay. like six foot long it, table, I it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Fr- it was the first convention I actually went to, like the biggest convention I went to before I went to the MCM, and that was before I was, you know, very well known. Uh, I was with Alterna Comics at the time, and we had purchased a uh, dealer table for the New York Comic Con. So it was this really big deal. We spent a lot of money to fly out there and go to this tape to this convention. And we got this table, and it was like, a, you know, a standard six-foot table. And the only way we could afford to pay for the table, because it was so expensive, 
was if we all chipped in to afford it and that meant there was like six of us standing behind the table all trying to outsell each other <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was it was absolutely awful trying to uh trying to sell there it was it was just it was so hard because you know people people would be coming up and they'd look at your stuff and you'd be trying to give them your pitch and then one of the other people right next to you would be like shoving their books in their face and then the person next to them would be shoving the books in their face and you know i'm i'm not much i don't want to like shove my stuff into anyone's face i don't want to like force my stuff on anyone so it was very it was very difficult for me to uh, how, how did you all fit behind the table because if it's six foot well and you're each about two foot wide then that's yeah. you know there's 12 foot of people it was, behind the six it was table. pretty cramped how, how did you fit it or did you like take it in turns standing in front well we had more space behind the table then we had table space to put our stuff on display, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so it was like you, you so, queued up behind the table to talk to people. Pretty much. Like <laughs> yeah. it was, we had some chairs and, back and there. And then the opposite thing happened turns. at the recent uh, MCM we went to, where we had just a couple of people, and we had tons and tons of artist oh, alley dude, tables had, that we had, had to so fill out. We had so many tables there. And we were just oh, stretched too thin. We had so many tables there, I couldn't get over it. We had like a whole row <laughs> yeah. of tables there, and no one to man them. Yeah, and then when we were in France, I, I didn't like when, when Vitaly's wife, she was standing next to us, because she was a much better salesperson <laughs> than us. So she just, she just stole all our customers. Oh, God. You're off at the same <laughs> company, right? They would be looking at our stuff, and then she would take one of the one of her posters and put in front of the person and go what but look at this this is beautiful and then we go yes yes it's much better than this <laughs> <laughs> steal the customers yeah i'm i'm not the kind of person that can like I, i'm really not good at selling <laughs> i've always been bad at like selling stuff and, and especially my own stuff it's, it's really hard for me to go up to someone and be like hey hey you have money give me money so you can buy my thing <laughs> I, I just can't i can't do that I, I can't go up to someone and like do that i if someone's gonna buy stuff from me, I want it to be genuine. You know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like trick them or anything. <laughs> you want them to come up to you and say, "Shut up and take my money." Yeah. That, that. <laughs> no, that's why David, David, David is good because usually I ask for too little money, and people told me you're selling this way, way too cheap. And then David come along and they're like, "Oh, this is a reasonable price." So <laughs> <laughs> they don't even think it's too much. They're just okay with it. They don't complain. No, they might if they hear this podcast. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, bef before I would say ask for like 10 kroner for stuff and they would be like, this is way too cheap. What's a kroner? That's, like, that's, that's what, like one pound. A kroner is a pound? So that's maybe 60 cents. Ten, kron 10 kroner is one pound. Which is about 60 cents. 60 cents American? Yeah. Right now because... Uh, and uh, Iceland is going uh, not corrupt, uh, bankrupt. Bankrupt. They're actually trying to use uh, Canadian money now. They've asked Canada if it's okay if they use their money. I don't know why they wanted Canadian dollars more than anything else, but Cause that's what they wanted. Because they're probably closer to Canada. I'd like to go to Iceland sometime. I've Are never been there. Conventions out there. It, it, they have a really nice nature, so I want to they see it as well. You know what? They have to have a convention. They have to have at least one Comic Con out there somewhere. Yes, they do, but the, I've talked to some people from Iceland. No, wait, they, I actually think they don't. There's, like, no people on Iceland. We're going to go over there and make one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool they, there's just not a lot Iceland. of people over there, so they, they can't really make it. They, they don't have enough uh, comic fans and such. But wouldn't it be nice? It would. In front of a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? The, it's just it's an island of volcanoes, really. Oh, that's what okay. on Iceland, ironically. So wait, it, Iceland is the one that's warm, and that's Greenland is the one that's cold, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're that's both cold, but and that's because people were trying to do some. Um, yeah, they're trying to trick people into. Uh, yeah. You see, I, <laughs> Back I in heard the days, that story. The Vikings. I heard that story when I was a kid. They're like, "Oh, you should go to Greenland because it's you know it's nice and green. It turns out it's full of ice." Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, uh, I, I and they called Iceland really Iceland that. because they didn't want people to go there. Yeah, I never really believed that as a kid. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? Why would <laughs> you want people to go someplace that's inhospitable? Well, maybe. They just, they, I think that's because the people who went to Iceland, 
uh, were the ones who didn't like being in Norway. It's like the people who went to America. That's because they didn't like it in uh, England. So they, they didn't want to share it with the people back in Norway. That's I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, next up we do the conclusion. The conclusion of our epic tale. Uh, so hopefully uh, the whole podcast hasn't been edited out for being rubbish. And if you've enjoyed this, please uh, give us your feedback in the comment section somewhere, wherever this gets uploaded. <laughs> It, there might just be like a Is play a button and an advert, yeah. <laughs> and that might be idea. it. <laughs> like, what, what if there is no comment section? How do you put the comment? <laughs> well, they can make one. No, they you can make just one mutter one it to themselves ever. quietly. <laughs> they can record themselves commenting on it. So we have a podcast about our podcast. <laughs> yes, Podception. <laughs> Okay, I, I guess. <laughs> well, no, don't okay. finish yet. Uh, oh. We have to do our uh, goodbyes. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was easy. Uh, good. Uh, bye. Thanks for listening. I guess. Uh, yeah, I hope this was insightful in some way. Yeah. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from David. Bye. God, you sound, <laughs> <laughs> sound like the announcer. <laughs> I, you know, I, I never ask, answered the question. You know, if you play video games, what's your favorite? Team well, Fortress favorite? Two. I can't play that. Well, that that doesn't have anything to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't, I, try- I can't play it though. I, I, I'd like to play it. I'd like to play it with you. I'd like to play it with friends, but I can't play it on my computer. So that's sad. Everyone tells me how great it is, and I can't play it. I tried playing it once, and it started out really fun. It was just people messing around. And then it started getting more and more serious, and they started shooting me. And I was like, they're my friends, why are they shooting me? And I got sad and never played it again. <laughs> well, no, you, you played it here, recently, as the pyro, and you burned some mini sentries. He's lying. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. So you're trying to talk that. yourself down from how well you played? What? Because you, he... You know what, never mind. The, the point is, you played a game. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> In your face! You say you don't play games. <laughs> you play Team Fortress 2. You I liar! Did. And you played I From pl- Dust. Yes, that's true. But you didn't let me play for very long because Andy wanted to talk. Oh, that was I'm two sorry. hours. No, it was one hour and 20 minutes. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds like a long time. It, it, to- it told me when I was done. Oh, yeah. Total playtime thing, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever played Limbo? Not yet. No, uh, no spoilers. No, but I know what it is. No, I, There's I a no spider, Shh, and you die tell David. Don't a lot. Don't tell David. <laughs> don't tell him. He doesn't know yet. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't <laughs> tell him about the little people. Okay, I won't tell him about the people. And Good. The thing that tries to kill you. Exactly. Because he can't hear us while we're whispering. No! <laughs> Spoilers! Oh, sound, like, sound like Darth Vader there. Well, that joke died. Sorry. <laughs> what? I didn't even hear what you said. Uh, he, he said, no! And this, I said it sounded like Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> and there was like no, dead isn't silence. Isn't that Skywalker? No, it's what, Vader. That's Darth Vader. Does he say no? Because doesn't Skywalker say it as well, Luke? I, I think they I added it in the latest father, version. I am your father, and he goes, no! They wait, added wait, it wait. in the latest Are you one. saying they uh, Why doesn't he die from blo- bloodlust, by the way? Who? Is Sky- Luke Skywalker. He gets oh, his I can, I can off. feel Why this one. Die from because I it's can answer this burnt one. Uh, as it's cut, so it's, um, what is it? Not, not curated. What's the word? Yeah, exactly. In, uh, in the first Star Wars movie, they use a, uh, a lightsaber to slice somebody's arm off, and there's blood everywhere in the cantina. But then, yeah. like, the universally accepted answer everywhere else in the rest of Star Wars canon history or whatever is that when you use a lightsaber, it, like, automatically, like, what is it, what's the word? Cartalize? Yeah. Car- cartalize? <laughs> what is that word? <laughs> Seriously, know. in Star Wars, it just, no, yeah, yeah, Star Wars, it just seems like when. S- Stuff it happens, like, like you just say it's the force, which is just the equivalent of saying a w- wizard did it. 
I, I've gotten so much over that though because I, I drew a picture of uh, George Lucas getting his head chopped off, and I and I I put blood in there because I rem- I remember the cantina scene from Star Wars and everyone's like it's not blood when you use a star- when you use a lightsaber there's not blood and they kept and I got so many people telling me that I was like well, what about what about the cantina the cantina there's blood everywhere the cantina about? doesn't happen except for this crap music that's all that happens in the cantina do, 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 and no do, one shoots do, do, anyone do, do, do. yeah <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I love best about that the whole like Han shot first is the Han yeah. is the one who does shoot Greedo never shoots in the original version so no, it's not I know. who shot first it's Han's the only one yeah and Han he, he's the anti he's like an anti-hero so I don't understand why that's a problem because oh, because George Lucas got old and had kids, that's why I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. But I I have another question. You know the lightsabers. Yeah. How does the Force know when the lightsaber stuff stop? Why doesn't it just continue forever and ever? Wait, what? The lightsabers aren't powered by the Force. Then what's <laughs> powered by? What makes it? What makes the zoom thing come out? The zoom. It's a, it's a lightsaber. Zoom. It's it's uh. I because I always, I always it. heard it was like it was powered by the force, and that's why it was only sort of Jedi-like people who could use it. What? That's wow. what I've been told. I'm, I am not, I'm not an expert on <laughs> Star Wars. Well, I'm, I'm, just I'm not an expert either, but that's that's here. news to me. If if that's if that's true, then that's some new mythos that I've never heard of. Then then what powers the lightsabers? Oh, I thought like batteries. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was it was just like, you know, it's like a flashlight, only it's a sword slash it kills and it's powerful. Uh, it's like a it's like a high intensity laser or something. Well no, know. it's just like the uh lightsabers you get these days at the convention. That you, you turn them on and it fills up the tube with light. But there's no except tube in, in the future the, the light is so intense uh it doesn't burn your eyes somehow. The light is so intense it doesn't burn you. But a like wizard how it did color it. Too. Pardon? A like wizard how it did it. Color. Yes. It's so intense it doesn't burn your eyes. It makes no sense. Well, that was trying to be British humor wit thing. Oh, anyway, okay. we, yeah, we uh, have to I'm edit not, this whole bit out because now. you have insulted so many Star Wars fans. Well, who did? My? Me? Yes, you. <laughs> you? No, I, I'm not insulting anyone. I'm just ignorant about it. <laughs> exactly. You, you have now <laughs> lost I'm a Star, I'm a Star Wars fan as long as it contains No, the they can floor. laugh at me being stupid about it. That's okay. I can talk about more stuff I don't know anything about if you want. <laughs> like what? Star Trek. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for example. I've seen the movie, the new movie, and that's about it. Oh, yeah, and the crappy movie in England. That was a crappy? That was what, crappy. Star- Insurrection? Oh. <laughs> How could Sorry. they hide behind a hologram? That makes no sense. <laughs> Another thousand watches lost. <laughs> oh, hologram, that's what it's I, I guess for people who don't know this, uh, while we were out there in England all together for the convention, we watched Star Trek Insurrection on TV. It came on, and we all kind of watched it, and you know, it's it's so deliciously bad. That we were having a real fun time, just kind of nitpicking all of the plot points apart. Exactly. I think that was my favorite movie we, we watched, just because it was so easy to make fun of. We only watched two. Yeah. What was the other one, then? Uh, X-Men uh, Wolverine Origins. Oh, oh yeah, that was bad, too. That was fun. <laughs> om nom nom. <laughs> Stairs. And then yeah. the other thing we watched was the Eurovision Song Contest. Yes. Oh, yes. That was fun. And I, and I like that it was m- uh, Matt and I who wanted to watch it, and we were the people standing in the kitchen and just left the rest of you to watch it on your own. <laughs> well, weren't, weren't you guys, like, cooking something, though? Wasn't it, like, dinner time? Yeah, but that's the thing. Me, uh, Matt and I, we were cooking while it was on at the beginning, and it was us who wanted to watch it. I, su- I suppose I should answer one of the questions What I know somebody asked is, like, why did I pick Iceland? And my answer for that is... All the other countries that I knew were picked. We all kind of like picked countries to like root for during the the contest, and I I don't know a lot of the countries that are out there. And everybody picked them up like oh Russia, Denmark, England, France, Spain. It's like oh what else is out there? I'm a dumb American. I, I would have I I would have loved if you had just played the ignorant American and win. I choose America <laughs> at the Eurovision <laughs> Song Contest. Exactly. <laughs> I had no awesome. idea you guys even had that every year. That was actually pretty pretty interesting to see. 
I, I remember you making fun of them in your comics, but I had I never connected it, you know, until I actually saw it. Well, I've gone back now and I've, I've reread your comics that you made fun of it, and it makes so much more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can understand if you don't understand it. It's a weird thing, weird European thing. I mean, it's it's not actually something that makes Europeans look less gay. I'd say that like that. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We call Americans sort of stupid and ignorant, and Europeans seem kind of gay to Americans. And <laughs> edited <though> it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's a game I of how many losers can you watch? <laughs> no, uh, watches can you lose. <laughs> the right way around. We lost another <laughs> ten right there. Well, it's kind of easy to lose people. Just use the bad words. Well, don't do that. Is it, for example, you can go... Edit it out. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know the rest. I think that's Is this for children? Is this podcast for children? What? Is this, is this podcast supposed to be available for children? <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> and <laughs> edit it out. <laughs> How much of that? Oh, God. Well, it was until you said that. You, you can just bleep it. Yeah, just no, it's just it. getting edited out. No, I think it's funny. It should be something uh, like bleep. bloopers or something at the end. Is this for children? I don't fucking know. Bleep. <laughs> in, in that order. I don't yes. know. Gap. Then beep. <laughs> we'll put that at the beginning. First thing, you, you start <laughs> yeah. listening to the podcast. First thing you listen to, is this for children? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Welcome to your new podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, this went on a little bit longer than we were expecting, I and mean, you already closed us out. Now here we are still talking about like Star Trek and Star Wars. And yeah, Neural I like Vision that. That should be like extras at the end. I extras think at it's, the it's, end. It's nice. Everybody it's else checked out long ago. That's usually the funniest part well, when it, you listen to It can to be podcasts. edited so that the closing is at the end. Oh, you're just trying to make more work for me, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's going to be already hard enough just to sync this all up to begin with, but now now I have to edit it all together and put that at the end, and tracks and stuff. I don't know. <coughs> I'm not editing that out. Yes, you will. No, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> this has been the first Fresh Epics podcast brought to you. Shut up, David. <laughs> oh, you interrupt me. <laughs> is, it, is it really easy to lose your track? It, what it is for me, because I, I feel like I'm in my narrator voice, and that takes extra brain processing power. Your narrator <laughs> voice. It's just, is it because it said that you had a nice uh, radio voice? Well, do I? So I don't now know. you, I think you do. You're British, and of then maybe you do. that makes you <laughs> try a bit harder. While, while I was uh, working in a supermarket, people would often say when they they came to me at the checkout, "You sound like the voice of the balls." And what? O- over I'm here in sorry, England, what? the voice of the balls is the national lottery. Uh, he's like the narrator. He reads out the numbers. So the balls Please. tumble around, and uh, they come out the little <laughs> tube, and he says, uh, number 48. Okay, Stop being naughty. Uh, David? And then the David? next, and, and then he says, uh, pink number 53. David, and then David? another ball comes out, and he says, number 7. Davy. We've seen number <laughs> seven six times now in the last three months. <laughs> the voice of the book. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <Dave. No. laughs> you don't you don't go around telling people I sound like the voice of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I just it doesn't have like the imagery in my head when you, you say that does not immediately think, Oh, lottery. I think you a lot of the to other English people. <laughs> yeah, other you English people to will get it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, you well, have to. The you people have to kind of in England talking. listening to this, he will. The understand. people in England will get it, but I, 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 you have to understand a, a lot of people listening to this are probably going to be from America, and when they hear someone saying like, "Oh, I sound like the voice of the ball," <laughs> <laughs> just yes, I, I speak in England. <laughs> <laughs> it is horrifying. Oh God. <laughs> 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 and then he just kept going and going and going. <laughs> How's your headache? It's actually better. Okay. So you laughed as the best medicine. Yes. <laughs> I'm 
trying to imagine the voice of the boy. No, no, no. In the middle Don't of the night imagining. while everyone's sleeping. Wait, what? <laughs> while everyone's sleeping? And they're just talking in the dark. And the bonus okay, ball is oh. 44. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't for children. <laughs> I'm just sleeping there. Mind my own business. And all of a sudden, my ball starts saying, 52, green. <laughs> too tired for this <laughs> you pick up the covers and like what the hell's going on down there <laughs> red 64 <laughs> yeah that's um thank you so much for listening this thank has been you, David. the first fresh epics podcast oh, with my guests today <laughs> Andy the creator of so you're a cartoonist and oh, Vicky the creator of some <laughs> other comics yeah some other comics Goodbye. We Bye. tried. We tried. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I'm talking, Andy. Bye. This is the voice of the balls signing. <laughs> oh God, David. Goodbye, balls. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I'm gonna call you that from now on. The voice of the balls. <laughs> you, you'll balls be skyping voice. me on like, hello, balls. <laughs> God, do a, do a How much of this am I gonna have to edit?